Hey girlfriends, I'm back. For those of you who know me, my name is Sheila from Sister Girl Second Act. Did you know that as we get older, especially when we start hitting our 60s and older, that we are basically known as the queens of wisdom? That's right, because we're always handing out advice, nuggets of knowledge, tidbits, rem remedies, all kinds of stuff. But in order to be able to do that, we need to take care of ourselves. And that's the thing that we're going to talk about today in our show. So I want you to get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, um, depending on where you are, a glass of wine, whatever suits you, come back so that we can dive into this because we're going to be not only to be talking about self-care, but we'll be talking about healthy cooking, what has inspired my recipes on some of this stuff, and um, an affirmation. I've been getting into affirmations lately. So go and come back so we can get this started. So as I was saying, I've revamped my channel a little bit. Um, not only am I going to be talking about healthy cooking, I'm going to talk about, you know, the story behind it, which inspired like some of my recipes. We're going to talk about self-care. Let me ask you something. Don't you get tired of being a people pleaser? Don't you get tired of saying yes? I know I'm guilty of that all the time. You know, we take care of everybody. You know, some of us are the matrix of our family, okay? And they come to us for things. There's always drama. But who's there to take care of us? We're here to also to give out, like I said, um, nuggets of wisdom, advice, etc. But how can we do that if we're not taking care of ourselves? You need to carve out a time period, whether it's a day, a week, a month, just for me time. That's right, me time. We do need that. Because if not, we're not going to be good for anybody. And like I said, not all of us have somebody that's going to be able to take care of us. So we got to start taking care of ourselves. My last thing I'm going to talk about is um, an affirmation. I'm big on affirmations lately. And I've just been filling up my Pinterest page with affirmations. But I will end the program with an affirmation. I'll put it up. You can read it and um, take it with you at the end. You know, one of my things I also like to do is journaling. Um, when I'm taking time for myself, I love to journal because it lets me see where I was and where I am today and how far I've come. And it just like builds me up. It really does. So now let's get into the recipe. Wellness soup is the name of it. Um, I featured it in my previous videos and that was during the pandemic that it came up. Um, I have changed some of the ingredients. I'm not going to go through the whole schmooze about from beginning to end. I probably will just put up the pictures, the video, um, and the different things I've added to it. But basically, it's real simple. You just like take stuff, the ingredients, and put it in a pot. Let it come to boil. And voila, you got your soup. It's great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And let me tell you how I came to it. So... I think this all started back like in 2018 and um, at the time I came into experiencing ageism being one of one of the many people that were old in my job in case you don't know what ageism is basically to me discrimination against somebody's age but companies know it's against the law so they try to skirt around the issue and do other stuff you know, in order to be able to let you go. And in my case, it wasn't about, you know, um, firing me. It was like they just decided they were going to eliminate my position. I guess they were calling that being kind to me. You know what I mean? And I will go into detail about that in another video, because if not, we will be turning this into a lifetime movie. But anyway, after I went through that, I took some time off. Um, to think about what I wanted to do. And in the meantime, I did stuff like um, bone up on my culinary skills because I was a personal chef. And I do that from time to time. Um, I wanted to learn the inner workings of a commercial kitchen, which I learned, you know, but I don't have any plans to work in a commercial kitchen or a restaurant or cater 
250 people line up like wedding these big weddings and stuff no i just wanted to learn how to use the equipment so i did that and then i started my channel in 2000 what was it 19 or 20 or so and um then boom after that the pandemic hit and so many people were flocking to you know starting channels and stuff because there was nothing to do everybody was home you know so it's like everybody in the mom was on youtube um, Instagram, um, TikTok, um, you know, what is known as X now, everybody was on there and it was just like, do, 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 do. I was like, no. So I had to step back from that. But in essence, when I'm looking at it now, um, I was in the right place at the right time. I was at home. Um, and I was also an Uber and a Lyft driver. And then the word came out that only because, you know, everybody had to be on Inside the house, they need to be off the streets except for essential personnel. Well, being a Lyft and Uber driver, I was an essential person, okay? So I went out and drove people that had to be at their jobs, like at hospitals and, you know, everybody that's like important that, you know, they provide services that, you know, people can't live without. And um, I did that. So I was driving people to work and back home and um, I'll tell you I was in the right place at the right time because I was making bank okay I was working maybe two to three hours a day okay and that was it and I was still coming out you know two thousand or more a week it was just like crazy like mad money or something you know and um, like I said had I been where I was I wouldn't have come into that you know I probably would have gotten sick I had already gotten vaccinated and I was already driving with like the protection that you're supposed to have like the plastic and the plexiglass or whatever you have between the front but I still had somebody in the car so in order to pump up my immune system besides taking my vitamins and stuff that's when um, I came up with a wellness soup and it had like all the ingredients like garlic and turmeric and you know, ginger and, you know, a um, whole bunch of other things that are just like so healthy for you. Put them in a pot. I was using what I had in my kitchen. So since then, I have basically um, changed some of the items, which I'll show because I'm not going to talk during it. Basically, I'll just show you ingredients and you watch like the show, the uh, slow video, not a slow video, a video of just of the steps and then boom. That's it. I mean, it's it's easy to do. Just put the stuff in a pot, let it boil and go. And you can have this. I had it for breakfast before I left for the day. I had it for lunch sometimes, which you can do because I'm telling you, when you're at work, if you're working even now, you need some me time and you need to be able to distress a little back and pull back from everybody who's just closing yourself off in a room or even in your car or whatever. You know, you can do that with some hot soup. And not just any type of soup. In my wellness soup, it had like lemon juice. It's just it's delicious. You can have it for dinner when you come home. You can throw some chicken in it. Or if you're not into meat or poultry, whatever, some tofu, whatever suits you. But I still use it to this day. Like it's getting ready to be winter, you know, after fall. And I've started making it again. And I'm going to try different variations on it. So let me turn around and show you this video real quick that you can see. And if you want an in-depth look at it, go to Wellness Soup. It's titled in um, some of my previous videos. Okay? All right.
enjoy that little snapshot of my wellness soup. And, um, you know, like I'm saying, try it. Like, a, And it's not a set in stone recipe. It's something that you can add to, take away from. It Make it into your own, you know. But I'm telling you, you get a sniffles, you get a sore throat. It's there for you to have to make, okay? So let's get into self-care. As I was saying, you know, we take care of everybody, of our family. And if we want to be able to do that, we have to start taking care of ourselves. And we also, like I said, have to learn how to say no and walk away. Just like turn around or don't give an instantaneous, you know, answer at the time. I know that we are the top of our families, but, you know, we don't have to say everything. Say yes to everything. Say yes to everyone. You know, sometimes we just need to just say yes to ourselves. Put ourselves first, you know. And the other thing is just because we're 60, I mean, I turned 68 a week and a half ago. I feel great. I have made some changes along the way. I've lost like about 35 pounds. I feel good. You know, and yes, the wrinkles are coming in. But you know what? That's all a part of aging. That's all a part of me. That doesn't mean that I'm dead. Okay, I still get a life. And um, as we do when we turn, you know, in our 60s and stuff. And I appreciate the videos that are out here that are for the 40s and the 50s. But it comes a time when, you know, some of that stuff just isn't working for me. You know, because like I said, many of us are the matriarchs of our family. And we've got to pass this stuff down and we've got to get it ingrained into this younger generation because a lot of them need help. They really do. It's just like so much stuff going out in this, on in this world. And if we're at the top, you know, and we can reach them, it's even better. But like I said, we have to be healthy. We have to take care of ourselves. I mean, you know, just like if you can take a day and pamper yourself you know go get your nails done take a bubble bath go window shopping you know have a movie marathon you know and another thing is as far as like catching up with your girlfriends now the thing about that is you know i for experience for the first time i guess it was a couple you know a year or so ago um you know i lost my best friend who was my same age. That's very scary. I will put that into another video. You feel, and the thing about it is like after she passed, another friend passed. That's when you start really feeling it. You know, before it used to be when you were younger and, you know, you'd have like somebody older in the family passed, you know, or one of your parents' friends passed. Then your parents passed, okay? And it's like as the, as it goes on and on and it's getting closer and closer. Yes, I know that our time is coming and that's why it's so important to take care of ourselves. We have the ability to become healthy and watch our what we put into our mouth as far as like food and stop eating all these preservative stuff and too much bacon and processed food and no, we can control that. You know what I mean? Take control of it. Become more active, whether it's just, I'm not saying go out there and run a marathon, okay? Because I can't even run. I can walk. I can walk my butt off. But as far as running, no, this is not going to happen. But it's okay. Like, I can still go up and down the steps. You know, I can bend to my toes and back up. It's like, you know, some of the younger people look at us as like, you know, we're supposed to have, like I say all the time, you know, blue hair and in a rocking chair, Okay. And, um, no, that's not it. That's not it anymore. We have full lives. You know, we travel. We have clubs. We're with our friends. And another thing about friends, you know, sometimes I think it's best to have a small circle of friends rather than associates and acquaintances, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Good friends are hard to find. Sometimes we have to let some of them go if they're not fitting into our life. And that's okay. You know, that's okay. I think my best friends are the friends I grew up with, and I can count them on one hand, okay? 
sometimes those are the best because they know you. You've all experienced stuff together. And it's very important. Those are important friendships that you hold on to. And yes, we all live in different states. But you know what? It's okay because we do know how to connect when we need to. Stop planning things with them if you can. And that's some, one of my goals. I started before we were in the planning stages and then stuff happened and it fell apart. But, you know, I'm going to go back to that again and see if we can get, you know, a girl's trip together just for us. So as I was saying, you know, self-care is very important for you. Um, and now we're going to get into as far as like the affirmation. I picked up this affirmation. Um, and I hope that you will enjoy it. Um, I'll let you read it on the screen. So what did you think about the affirmation? I like the part as far as like, you know, giving myself permission to heal at my own pace. You know, it's different for everybody. and um, But it's important. You know what I mean? It's not a race. It's a journey. And I want you to remember that. So, thanks for coming today and watching my show. And, um, oh yeah. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave all comments. Hopefully they're positive down below. Um, we'll be back next week. And remember, stop being a people pleaser learn how to say no and mean it you don't have to say it nasty just say it you will feel so much better when you put your foot down and you can say it with grace and walk away and say you know what kudos to me i'll be back next week with some more stuff for you in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. I know I am. All right. Bye, guys. See ya.